Hello all, it's Jim Johnson aka Sulfur Blade. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my content, and welcome to Puffin Planes. Uh, I was watching Orbital Potato today play this game and said to myself, I really gotta try that. So long ago, back in, I don't know, I want to say the 90s, late 90s maybe, there was a Super Nintendo game possibly? Uh, I don't even really remember what what uh, console it was on, but it was like an airline tycoon game of some sort. I don't exactly remember what the name of it was even, but I enjoyed the hell out of that game. And ever since, I've been hoping for a game that would come out that would be similar to it. But there really hasn't been, and it's been a long time since that game. I mean, there's been airline games but not in the same business management tycoonish way about it but this this looks like it actually fits the bill so i'm excited to jump in to this game to give it a go and hopefully you guys will like it too so i jumped in previously just to get a look around the map but I didn't actually do anything yet. So you're going to be enjoying the first actual gameplay with me playing this. So if I do stuff stupid, it's because I'm learning the game. So forgive me on that. We're going to call this Thundering Air. And that's because of the the airport I'm planning to start out of. Um, we're gonna set this to select to start so we can start our airport where we want to and all the rest of this we're gonna leave on. We're gonna leave this tutorial on and we're gonna jump in and see how this goes. <clears throat> so it says a new airline. The This quarter's goal, uh, meet expectations, operating agreement in at least three cities and to exceed uh, operations be operating in at least five cities. The Puffin Plans Airline Alliance has appointed you the first CEO of Thundering Air. The Alliance Board of Directors have very high expectations and will not hesitate to fire you if you do not achieve your goal each quarter. You have seven days remaining to accomplish your goal for the first quarter. Let's choose a starting airport. <clears throat> okay, it's telling us how to move around. Alright, so the reason we chose the name Thundering Air is because we're planning to start right here in Thunder Bay. To set up some connections, I believe. This is how we do it. Um, how long is this? So it says up there 1252, so we can serve this route with the Sawtail Pico or the Levering Veteran. The Sawtail Pico, from what I understand, is the smallest plane in this game. And right now we're just starting off, so we're not going to have a lot of cash. So pro probably the Thundering, or the Sawtail Pico, is what we're going to be able to afford. In fact, we might even have some. <clears throat> if we look down here, it looks like we might have a couple of planes. Um, or maybe I should follow the tutorial. This window is extremely da 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 da. Explore the airport over here, then close the window to continue. To build our first route, we need to first acquire operating rights in the second airport. Click on any airport with a transparent icon, since it's Montreal or Nashville or Cleveland, and click Buy Rights. 
Alright, well, I think we'll start with Montreal. And I guess we're clicking here. How much money do we have? We have 10,000. How much is Cleveland? 2,700 compared to 3,500 compared to 2,900. Um, how far away is Nashville, though? Um, I think Nashville is close enough that we can serve it with the Thundering Pico, so that's good. I think we'll start with Cleveland, though, since it's the cheapest. Uh, this is the airplane overview. In order to create an airplane, you need to choose a model. The Sauteo Pico has already been selected for you. Specify the route because you dragged between Thundering Bay and Cleveland. This plane will go back and forth between the two cities. But if you want, you can add more. Uh, click on Start Plane to continue. Click on Start Plane to continue. Uh, here we are. Okay. Great job. When you unpause the game, this plane will reposition and then begin collecting passengers. You can press spacebar in order to toggle between pause and play. Okay, so we started the game paused. Good. Press spacebar to continue. Okay. You've successfully completed the tutorial for Puffin Plans. Have fun. Okay, so that was a tutorial. Well, I guess it was a tutorial. <coughs> Whoa, that was loud. Um, yeah, let's get Nashville. Let's connect that with the other Sawtail uh, Pico we have in our stock. And we'll unpause as we're going to need to probably make a little bit of money here. Okay, right now it's we're not okay. Now we're now we're a little profitable. Nice. There's money coming in, so we'll go ahead and buy the rights to Montreal. Then I'm gonna pause the game and how much does the Sautel Pico cost? Airplane market. Uh, 13, and we'll have just enough. Um, order? Plane will be finished, and then there is an unreserved Sawtail Pico available in the order backlog. It will take this plane reaches the front of the back long it is built. I think that ordered the plane. And we should have accomplished our goals of connecting three cities. I don't think we're going to be able to connect five because I don't really see anything else to connect to. Unless we... I don't want to buy or expand one of these small little airports nearby. Or some might open up at the change of day. And some did open up at the change of day. Very good. How much is Milwaukee going to be? 2600 St. Louis, 20, okay, 3200 and Kansas City is 3000 Okay, well, 
We're gonna try to get to Milwaukee. We don't have much money right now. We're we're cutting it tight. should have enough to order a plane so let's go ahead and set this one up and order and then we'll just go ahead and start the route and that should automatically apply it The humble beginnings of thundering air, serving Montreal, Cleveland, Milwaukee, and Nashville so far. Are we going to be able to get another air, uh, another route set up so that we can exceed expectations? We might be able to pull it off. We're making decent money. Um, Kansas City is 3,000, St. Louis is 3,200. Let's go with Kansas City since it's cheaper. Uh, we even have enough technically to start the plane, but I'd like to have a little bit more in the coffers before I do it. New airport opened. Oh, New York City. Yeah, we definitely want to fly there, don't we? Now, let's get this one set up here to Kansas City. Um, Sawtail, order it, and select plane. Or start plane. Have a city with five destinations. Humble Hub. Nice. We've got an achievement. Okay, we're just gonna bank some money for right now. Leave. Uh, what am I looking at here? So all of our planes currently have a hundred percent delivery rate, so that's a good thing. Um, I'm looking for something like policies and upgrades. Okay, so this is what we can spend the uh, puffer coins on to to unlock these things. And then there's airplane upgrades here, where you can unlock different types of airplanes. mid -vale packs requires a long runway. Um, uh, it has 60, or well, it has more capacity than the levering does, and has better range than the levering does and then this guy has even longer range than that guy with more capacity and so on and so forth and this is a supersonic jet which probably doesn't have as much capacity as this one but goes faster I think you know uh, the failed uh, what were those planes over the Brits had the, the Concords they they proved to be too expensive to run 
Anyway, uh, yeah, that's how you unlock the the planes, and this is the policies, but uh, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something else. Network overview, airports, routes, and yeah, not exactly what I'm looking for either. Um, statistics, no. Reputation, fleet capacity, map mode. What's airlines? So we're the only airline. I wonder if that's going to be the way it's going to be the entire time, or I would like to have s some AI airlines that I'm competing against. I hope that they get introduced, that I'm not alone in this because it would be far more interesting to be competing with some AI airlines. Uh, policy and upgrades... Where is the thing I'm looking for? No, this is probably the escape menu. Well, I haven't clicked on this yet. No, that didn't do it. Can I click on these? Okay, that opens this again. So it's, when I was watching Orbital Potato, he was able to build like hubs and stuff and expand the, the airport. Itself. And that's what I'm looking for. I, I want to expand the infrastructure of the airport. But none of these seems to be... ...giving me what I want. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll unpause. And in a little less than a day, we're going to, going to accomplish our goals and have a fair chunk of money saved up as well. So that's a good thing. New airport opened. Oklahoma City, Denver. Nice. And there we are. Did that pause things? It did. So, quarter goals have been met. Uh, congratulations on successful Q1. You have exceeded shareholders' expectations. The board of directors have given you a new goal for Q2. You must meet expectations to keep your position as CEO. However, there's also opportunities to exceed expectations for a larger bonus. They would like to know what sort of investment would best help your airline succeed. So this is this is my reward basically for exceeding expectations. Um, I can either go with twenty-four thousand dollars, four puffer tokens, three puffer tokens, and twelve thousand, or a puffer token and 17 Sawtail Picos. The Sawtail Picos are worth 1,600 in cash. I think plane prices actually fluctuate, so they're not always set at that price. So that's what... Um, I'm thinking around 25,000 worth of planes plus a token. No, it's got to be a little bit more than that. I think this is what we want to go with. So we're going to go with it. So we got a bunch of free planes, which should make expanding. Oh, wow. 
Uh, we have a bunch of free, uh, free planes that we don't have space for. <laughs> Hopefully that's not an issue. <clears throat> so, let's get some of these routes opened up. 36, 35, 33, New York is 7,000. Um, how far are some of these? Albuquerque is about the furthest one and the Sawtail Pico would not reach, but it will reach Denver. It will reach Oklahoma City. It will reach there, there, there. Uh, New York has a long runway, which is going to be useful for us in the future, I think. So let's start with Denver. And yeah, start the plan. Okay, we need to have seven well served routes to accomplish expectations or 14 to exceed. Uh, we'll unpause. I think we're going to connect St. Louis and Cincinnati next. Okay, we'll unlock Cincinnati next. Start plan. I still really want to figure out how to right click for options. No. No. Well, what's this? No, not what I'm looking for. Um, how do I open up the facilities of the location? Wait, this looks different. This might be what I'm looking for. Upgrades. Here we are. Long runway, focused city. So 25% landing fee, less landing fee. So that's going to save us money all around because all of our planes fly in here. This is what we want. And we probably want to get a long runway here too if this is going to be our primary hub. Um, probably hangers as well. So we're going to want a bunch of things here, but we most, more than anything, want to get the Focus City upgrade. So we're going to unpause, and that's the next thing we're going to spend money on. Uh, new airports have opened. Nice. Okay, we can afford the Focus City, and we're going to do that. All 
Alright, where else can we reach with Thundering Bay right now? Can we reach... no. We can reach Richmond, and we can reach New York. We can reach Oklahoma City. Okay, so we still have some options. One... Charlotte is just outside of range. So Oklahoma City, Richmond, and New York yet. Next is Richmond. Hmm. I'm not even sure how many planes we 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 have 22 planes obviously but how many are actually functioning right now must be 10 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're connected to ten. Okay, now it says we're we've got ten uh, well-served routes. It was, it was uh, taking a little bit to update. Okay, we have money to open New York, which I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. So we, we met the goal, but we didn't exceed expectations this time. Um, so congratulations on successful Q2. You managed to meet shareholders' expectations. The board of directors have given you a new goal for Q3. You must meet expectations to keep your position as CEO. However, there's also opportunities to exceed expectations for a larger bonus. They would like to know what sort of investment would best help your airline succeed. We can take money. We can take puffer tokens, or we can take a mix of puffer tokens and money. I'm thinking the puffer tokens. That's going to allow us to go into here 
and unlock things. But which of these things do we want to unlock? Fuel cost? Less plane capacity, but more passenger income and comfort. More plane capacity, but less comfort. <clears throat> so there's a little give and take on some of these. Uh, passenger income, straight up. Uh, increased comfort, decreased border time. Looks all good all around. Uh, income, increased boarding time. Operating agreements are 20% cheaper. Uh, overworked maintenance staff. Attractive plus 15% fleet capacity, reduced chance of plane incidents. And some of these are either or, huh? So it's either this one or that one. And it's either this one or that one. Uh, this this one is the one that's screaming at me the most because it straight up gives me 10% passenger income. Puffer token left over. So we'll unpause. Now, what do we have to do this time? In order to move on to the next quarter, you must at least meet expectations. Here's what the shareholders expect you to do this quarter flights to 7 10 cities in central USA. Incomplete. Don't we currently have like... I thought we had like 11 connections. Of course, one of them is in Canada. Oh, Central USA, so very specific. Uh, Minneapolis has appeared and is probably would meet that category. So... Unlock that. We don't need to buy a plane because we have extra ones sitting around. We'll start that up. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, so we're either going to remain a Southwest type airline running small planes. Every plane that we have right now is a, is a small plane. Um, or we might have to start buying bigger planes to go further. Or we could set up a new hub here to reach some of these areas that are beyond the range of our small plane. So basically go from one small plane to another small plane instead of just flying a bigger plane. 
Uh, what is the current range to Dallas Fort Worth? It's beyond the Sawtail Peak, sadly. How about Little Rock? Little Rock is within range. And Charlotte? No. I, I don't think Spokane's within range, and I don't think it works for the mission we're on. Okay, so we're gonna unlock, unlock Little Rock. I'm gonna fly into Little Rock. Go ahead and start. Unpause. Now I'm thinking Oklahoma City might be a good place for a hub. Or Little Rock. Or Denver. New airport opened. We're at. Denver might make sense. And it has a long runway. So it's got the infrastructure to probably serve as a decent hub that we can then fly from Denver into places like Bakersfield, for instance. Tucson, Albuquerque, El Paso, Lubbock. We, we, we can reach out to, to longer places with shorter flying planes. I think that's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> How far is this trip? Easy enough to do. Uh, that is an expensive one, though. Um, what is it to get over here to Bakersfield? Yeah, but Bakersfield doesn't work for the the mission we're on, right? We're wanting to fly to Central. Lubbock would be Central. All right, we're gonna unlock Lubbock, and we're gonna fly from Denver to Lubbock. And that should accomplish the goal. We might still be able to exceed expectations though, so we're gonna give that a try. We're making good money, so we might as well give it a go. Is El Paso Central? It is. What did that say about Plane Factory? And let's start a plane on that. So two more connections and we'll be golden. Austin is 4,000, Dallas is 5,900. New Orleans is 3,200. Can we reach New Orleans with... No. Unfortunately. Oh, that's in Mexico. That's just outside of range. We're gonna go with Austin next. Alright, 
we got 3.8 days to connect to one more city in Central, which will probably be Dallas. Exceeded expectations. We're making good money, and I'm not done exceeding expectations. Well, we've accomplished all the goals we need to do, but there's more expansion to be done. Huh. I want to fly into Albuquerque. Bugs Bunny would be happy. Alright, let's look at... Huh, we have more fleet capacity now. Interesting. Airlines, statistics, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Network overview, that's what we're looking for. Delivery rate is 100% across the board. Richmond is the first one we're starting to show a little bit of issues with, really? That was not what I was expecting to see. And Cincinnati's at 99%. I, I really was expecting to see the flight to Denver showing stress. But it doesn't seem to be stressed yet. It's going to happen because it's a hub. You got all these people flying in here. They're going to want to possibly reconnect over to like for example if somebody wants to go from Dallas to New York they're gonna have to go through Denver and Thunder Bay to get there because of how our network set up Pick up this cheap little guy here. Um, airplane market, airlines. Where is our airplanes themselves? Nineteen from assigned planes and three from airplanes in your hangar. Okay, so we still have three free planes yet. I should probably slow down and wait for my next goal because I think that if I get ahead of the game I might be doing myself a disservice and making it harder for me to accomplish my next set of tasks. So I guess there's there's no reason to jump the gun, right? Because I might be connecting something that would have been useful for accomplishing the expectations. So might as well just bank the cash now and wait for our new goals to be given to us. Huh? This route's getting stressed. I figured it would. Um, where did we see the statistics at last time? Was it under statistics? No, it wasn't. Um, no, it wasn't there. 
network overview. Okay, here's the Denver route. We're at 75% delivery rate. So we need to get another plane on the route. How do we do that? Uh, How do I add an additional plane? I don't want to decommission the route. I just want to add an additional plane to the route. Add new stop now. Click to add new plan. There we go. That should fix this problem. And now we should only have two free plans now, I think? Yeah. Winnipeg. Rapid City. And there we are. Maintain at least 23 well served routes. Um, maintain at least 33 well served routes. I think 33 routes is going to be a little difficult to do. 23 is what? Five more routes? Doable. But 33 would be what? 15 more routes? That might be a little unlikely. Uh, depending on what they give us. We could get 11 Sawtail Picos, which. What's the market price on them right now? Oh, the. The, the market price actually went up on them. They're, they're worth 2500 now. So that's... That's a little over 25000 That would be 27500 or so worth of stuff. Or we could just get the money, which is worth more. Um, there's tokens. And then there's a mix of tokens and money. Well, I do get a token with this. I kind of want to get the token. Eighteen thousand five hundred. We're thinking that's worth twenty seven thousand. We're we're gonna take the planes. Okay, and now we need to start setting up some routes. We're waiting for this to go back to green. But it doesn't seem to be happening. Um, network overview, Denver. We may need a third plane. Okay, we'll put a third plane on that and we will expand to Salt Lake City, I think. Have a 
the city with 15 destinations. Nice, we have accomplished something. I also want to get that hub upgrade in Denver. Focus city. Landing fees. Plus 40 throughput. Okay, turn back green. Um, we still need three connections to meet expectations. How long is Bakersfield? It's within range. Let's do it. I think Tucson is next. Oh, New York is fluctuating. New far away airport. Beijing. Yeah, I don't think we're flying to Beijing anytime soon. We would have to unlock one heck of a plane to get over there. And we don't. And that plane would cost crazy amounts of money. I'm. Uh, I think we need to get another plane going to New York though. So this route... The Thunder Bay to New York route... Oh, can I just hit start plane and it puts another one on there? Let's see. Yeah, there's two planes flying there. Right. Well, we do have the minimum expectations done. I think it's going to take quite a bit to try to reach. I, I don't think we can... Well, ten more connections might be doable. Can we reach Spokane from Denver? Yes. Can we reach Spokane from Thunder Bay? No. Okay. What about Rapid City? We can.
unlock Rabbit City. Set that route up. We don't have anything flying to Rochester. We can reach Rochester. Let's do it. How far is that? Too far. Denver, that's possible. That's not. That's possible. That's not. Let's get done what's possible. Stop in a Mexican airport using a Sawtell Pico. Another achievement. Woohoo! <clears throat> okay, I think this one was reachable as well. No. It's Houston that's reachable. Airports opened. Sweet. That might help us accomplish our goals. Where are they? Boise, Sacramento, Mexicali. I think they might all be reachable from Denver. Let's check. Boise is. Sacramento is probably the longest flight, and it's. yeah, all three are reachable. Um, are we using all our planes right now? I'm serving 3 and 16 from airports, perks, 10 from... Okay, 32 from assigned airplanes, 1 from airplanes in your hangar. Okay, we're gonna have to start buying planes again soon. Let's do Sacramento. That's the last plane we have left, right? Yeah. And we have puffer tokens to assign, don't we? Um, lounge income. Fuel cost. I wonder if this comfort snack is, or if this comfort stat is going to become important in the future or not. 
I don't really know what it does. Well, obviously it makes your passengers more comfortable. But what does that really mean? I don't know. Um, fuel cost seems tangible, right? Of course... This isn't immediately useful. However, if we could get down here, extra capacity on our sawtails. I wonder if that's backwards compatible with the sawtails we already have, or if that only goes forward with new sawtails that we purchase after having the perk. Efficient operations minus 25% to fuel upkeep and crew cost of the sawtails. Um, inherits upgrades of both sawtail, pico, and lever and veteran. Oh, so we could go all the way down here to then get these stats put onto the sawtail. So extra fuel efficiency could be put onto that. Extra range could be put onto the sawtail. Oh, that's interesting. Advanced logistics. What does this mean? Repositions instantly. Yeah, I, I think we're going to start trying to make this Sawtail Pico that we're using so much of. We're going to try to turn it into the super duper little plane, like a like our version of a 737, I suppose, that Southwest Airline flies. <clears throat> All right, we got 1.8 days to try to get five more connections. I'm not sure if that's doable or not. Okay, and with this connection, we're going to have to order plane. Start the connection. It's a nice looking network though. I'm I'm impressed what we've what we've pulled off so far. Thunder Bay is a surprisingly convenient location to create an airport out of. I thought it would be a unique place to start in that it makes for a cool name, Thundering Airlines, and it really ha has a nice location to connect to a lot of things. Um, we have 15 hours to try to serve two more locations. I feel like that that's actually possible with the amount of money we have, but I don't think we can reach the locations with our current hubs. And I'm thinking it might be worthwhile to create another hub. But where do we want to create this third hub? Houston has a long runway. Dallas Fort Worth has a long runway. Though I think with Houston we could reach over here to Tampa, we could maybe reach to Charlotte. New Orleans and possibly even in the future where's Mexico City that's gonna be a big one right we're definitely gonna want to connect to Mexico City that's like what is it what second or third largest city in the in the world yeah I think Turning Houston into a little hub wouldn't be such a bad idea. Order. Start. 
Flame. And New Orleans. Order. Start plan. And that should accomplish, hopefully, if we have enough time for these planes to fly back and forth out of Houston. another plane on the Denver route. Thunder Bay, Denver. View route. Click to add a plane. Order. Start. So the reason these haven't happened yet is that they're, I think they're having to fly all the way from here to here to here to then take off to go there. We got 30 minutes. I don't think we're going to pull it off. No. So we met the the expectations, but we didn't exceed expectations. But we came close. All right, where are we now? Um, this quarter's goal. At least nine airport upgrades purchased across your network. Nine airport upgrades purchased across your network. Well, looks like I already have eight. Not quite sure I understand what is a network upgrade, is an airport upgrade. Because I don't think I've bought eight of what I would think they are. So, like the hub that I purchased in Denver and the hub that I purchased in Thunder Bay is two. So, what are the other six? Are they from Puffer Coins? And if they are from Puffer Coins, I only remember like picking two things with puffer coins. I'm not sure what these upgrades are that are being counted as eight already. <clears throat> uh, uh. I think we might take the puffer coins. Okay, that's one. That's two. So we've only picked two things here. And in Thunder Bay, we've only... How do I get to that? Now, why? <laughs> so I'm I'm left clicking on Thunder Bay, and sometimes it pops this up, and sometimes it pops up the other thing. I don't understand why this pops up sometimes when you left click on it, and the other thing pops up sometimes when you click on it. So there's only one. I'm not sure how we have eight of nine already anyway I think we'll get the secondary hub here And we've accomplished expectations. Now we're attempting to exceed the expectations. <clears throat> um, the Denver flight is still...
comet scene? Okay, let's pause. Comet scene from PUF 07441. A prominent social media influencer aboard said plane spotted a, did, a dim comet from their window while flying to Houston. After their post went viral, amateur astronomers identified it as the long period comet yada 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 yada. Wow, that sure is beautiful. Let's hire them as a social media ambassador. Rename the plane after the comet. We live in enlightened times. Or puffin time, planes time, framed shall be rendered. Okay, uh, well, you, you get a puffer coin no matter what you pick. But this one, the, the plane's registration changes to that. So let's get the coin and change the registration of the plane. All right. Um, Houston, we could probably make this a focus city. We don't have the money. OK. I think we need to get another plane on the... on the primary route here. Um, what's going on? 569 waiting now in Thunder Bay, 544 waiting now in Denver, 383 per day or 77 percent delivered, 909 profits and with 35,000 3,530 transfer. So there's, as we expect, because these are primary hubs, there's a lot of money that's being transferred through them. It's this is not their primary destination. Mainly, they're they're going on to other places. have opened. Uh, we're getting some strain on the Denver to Houston line. I think we're always going to have a problem with the Denver to Thunder Bay line. Okay, is there something we can purchase here? A small lounge, 5% visit chance, 25% patience. You know, maybe patience in Denver and Thunder Bay would be useful. Seeing as I have a feeling we're going to typically have people waiting often at these two locations. that gets us closer to exceeding our expectations.
Alright, same thing in Thunder Bay. We'll go with a lounge here. So one more facility and we will have exceeded expectations. We got plenty of time to do it. We're gonna pull this one off. Easily. Thunder Bay. Um, primary hub would lower landing fees more, would give us better throughput per hour, or long runway. We don't necess. We don't plan well. We don't plan in the near future on getting the bigger airplanes. In fact, I'm thinking about trying to, as as I was previously saying, uh, super high tech the Sawtell to become a very small and efficient and low cost primary plane for our purposes. However, I am going to want to fly overseas, and I don't think there's any way that the Sawtelle is going to make it from, say, New York to Paris or New York to London or something like that, right? <clears throat> so we're going to have to get the bigger planes at some point. However, we don't necessarily need to do our, our international flights out of Thunder Bay. We could, for example, use New York City that does already have a long runway to do international flights out of. That might make sense. It does probably make more sense, actually. Um, it would be closer to the locations to fly to. Yeah, we don't need the long runway, so let's go with primary hub. We don't have the money yet. Well, we will soon. Disapproval in Dallas-Fort Worth? Really? Why? Da 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 da. Busyness 54%, boarding rate 43%. An airport's boarding rate is the percentage of people who manage to board a plane after coming to this airport. If passengers wait too long for a plane, they will despawn, decreasing the boarding rate. This value is averaged over the last 36 in game hours. Um. I don't understand. As a measure of how positively the local government and population thinks of your airline alliance, it's currently very low. Coral can lead to severe penalties such as airports revoking your operating agreement. High boarding rates will slightly increase local approval, while low boarding rates will drastically decrease it. In absence of other factors, local approval will return to 50% over time. Local approval also modifies the landing fee to be between 66 and 200% of its original value.
143 waiting to board. Hmm. I wonder if I need to get a lounge here. Actually, you know, I have an idea. How many people are, are, are... Where are the people in Dallas trying to go? For instance. Are they flying to Denver to fly back to Houston? When they just want to go straight to Houston? Or I wonder if, how many of these... Dallas people are trying to get to New York. How far is Dallas and New York away from each other? Too far away, of course. Where's the Dallas one? Dallas, Fort Worth to Denver. Delivery rate is a little low. We'll add another plane. And I think we'll, we'll upgrade this airport a little bit. try to put the small lounge in here so that people will wait around a little bit longer and this might make the throughput a little bit better as well if that improves our problem at all. Okay, it's going going up from 18 to 19. 20. Okay, we're going in the right direction. Boarding rate. I think we fix things. Downs. This is a cool game, though. I'm really enjoying it. Are there any other airplanes, air, 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 uh, airlines yet? No, there isn't. This game is multiplayer, by the way, guys. Um, probably be really cool. I wish I wish we could play this with AI. Huh. Anyway, um this episode is probably getting a little bit long in the tooth. It is. So I'm gonna think about trying to wrap it up here. Uh Actually, let's let's go through and finish off this particular quarter's goals in this episode, and we'll do an outro after that.
But yeah, Thundering Air seems to be really kicking it off. New airports have opened. And there, the goals have been met. Um, our future goals are to be operating in 39 cities, which is an expansion of five cities. That's, that's very doable, I think. And to exceed expectations, we need to open up in 15 cities. That might be a little bit more difficult. Last time we had 15 cities, we didn't quite pull it off. We were like two cities short. Um, but yeah, and then we need to pick a reward for more planes. We don't exactly have the hangar space for them right now. That's a big chunk of change and a nice chunk of tokens. That's tempting. That's a big chunk of change though too. Twenty sawtills. What are they worth now? They're getting they're 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 moving up in price, so Twenty seven five hundred and twenty seven five hundred is fifty four fifty five fifty five thousand or so worth of planes. Oh I I think I want want to do the combination. Get the tokens and the and the money. And before we do the outro, let's jump into upgrades here. And let's spend these these coins. This one costs three, but this one costs two. Ooh, that's weird. So we go from two to three back down to two. We're going to do it. Minus 25% to fuel, upkeep, and crew cost. We're going to do it. And then... Uh, we could unlock this next, but it wouldn't make sense, would it? Because if we unlock this, we're not getting anything extra. We might as well just start investing into this side and unlock this last. Yeah, that makes the most sense. So this is the best that we can get the sawtail up to at this point in time until we go through this to then combine the extra stats onto the sawtail. So that's what we're going to do in the future. Anyway, I am James Johnson, a.k.a. Software Blade. This is my content. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If so, please smash that like button. Consider subscribing. And until the next time, all peace.